Michelangelo. I know a lot about him. I bet you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. And I bet you can't fully describe it either, as there are aspects of experience that cannot be fully captured by physical descriptions alone. Welcome to Qualia, the raw feelings of your inner universe. When studying the philosophy of the mind, qualia, or its singular quail, will come up quite a lot. This is a term that philosophers use to describe the nature or content of our subjective experiences. In the context of olfaction, qualia encapsulate the unique experiences associated with different scents. The roseness of a rose's scent is a specific qualia that cannot be fully explained by the chemical composition of the aroma molecules. Instead, it involves a complex interaction within the brain that translates these molecules into a subjective experience of rose. We can communicate it to some degree, but imprecisely and with overall low confidence. When I say red, I'm slightly confident your mental image resembles mine. Physicalists believing all phenomena have physical bases might consider future direct qualia transmission plausible, though not guaranteed. It's the ultimate you had to be there of existence. C.I. Lewis was the first to coin the term as it is used today in philosophy, linguistics, and cognitive sciences. Thomas Nagel's famous argument in What Is It Like to Be a Bat highlights that there are aspects of experience that cannot be fully captured by physical descriptions alone. Qualia present a challenge to physicalist theories because they embody subjective experiences that seem resistant to reduction to physical explanations. They make explaining color to the blind as challenging as teaching a fish about bicycles or fully conveying the taste of a specific apple at a particular moment in time. Qualia might very well be a sanity-preserving mechanism of the human mind. If we were to compute everything simultaneously, we would likely go mad. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.